Hello and welcome to Bees on Main, Broodminder's global production facility in beautiful downtown Stoughton. Uh, today I have Teo with me and Teo, you've been working on uh, your top bar hives lately. What can you tell us uh, how you're doing with them? Uh, good morning, everybody. Yeah, I, um, I have. And I guess the reason why I got back into it, I had uh, two uh, top bar hives over vented and then I have three more empty ones and two of them have since um, gotten uh, bees because I caught swarms from my hives and uh, and it's very easy when you have a, an open swarm to populate the top bar hive because you don't have to you know transfer over because uh, the, the transfer from a Langstroth to a top bar hive is a little bit complicated and so easiest is to just put an open swarm in there and off you go. Okay well I know you've been working uh, with these trying to instrument them, we have a lot of people who are interested in, you know, how how the broodminder sensors would work in a top bar. And uh, for the last couple of years, you've tried some things, and I guess you have better success with it now. I I do regain some experience. Um, I started off with the first top bar hives uh, in 2016. And I put uh, the temperature devices, uh, THs at the time, uh, either in the follower board or the or the headboard, a color recess, and I put the device in there and put a screen over it uh, to hold it in place. This worked somewhat, but the bees would propolize the screen and then eventually you can't remove the device, so this was not, not really the best approach. Um, <clears throat> then I tried to insert the the device is uh, deep into the into the uh, bee space down in the middle, more or less, of the of the cross section of the hive, and this also worked. But the, the results were were not as as the results we get from a standard Langstroth hive. And now this time, I said to myself, "Well, <clears throat> I need to put the devices as close to the top." Uh, of the bars as I can, because ultimately in a, in a Langstroth hive, the device sits on top of the, of the frame. Um, you can't sit on top of a bar because the bars touch each other and they pretty much isolate the airspace above the bars uh, from the brood nest. And that, if you would put a device on top of the bars, you just measure that airspace temperature and not the temperature in the brood nest. And so, what I've done is I've taken T2 uh, devices and I folded them right at the, at the Broodminder logo and that gives me an insertion depth of about two inches into the, into the um, B space down below and, uh, and place them in there and, and uh, it seems to work uh, pretty well from what I can see. Hives 1 and 2 are golden mean hives uh, with a straight bar which looks like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the bar length is just a little bit shorter than um, a standard Langstroth. And important about this is, is two things. Uh, first, you, you see these holes here in the middle. These are passage ports for the bees and they will let the bees uh, pass through, but they will also facilitate air exchange. So when, when you measure right here, you will measure also pretty much across a few bars, uh, how, how warm it is. That's one feature. And then the second feature on this one. Oh yeah. You see, there is a slot. And this is a, a unique design um, that Corwin Bell uh, from Colorado invented. And he cuts these eight of an inch uh, recesses into the bars. So there is some, some um, air can escape okay, so into the cool. space above. Yeah. And the bees, they can regulate. They, they either close that gap if they want to close it off or they open it, but the space is not large enough so the bees can get through. It's just for air exchange. So that's the uh, T1 and T2 and then T3 and T4 are the cathedral hives and the bars look like this again with the, with the passage holes at the top. And we talked about the recess and this frame or this bar is pretty much the same length as standard Langstroth. And you can see if I have a full bar, uh, this is almost twice the size of a, of a standard deep Langstroth frame. So you're getting better results. Uh, yeah, show us your data. 
Okay, so if you look at the top bar, uh, APD, you see the four hives. Okay. And you see that um, T1 um, is, is larger than T2, you need to look carefully. Uh, T3 is um, smaller than T4. We need to um, calibrate the, what we see in the graphs with observations uh, that we see in the field. That, I think, is key. Uh, if you can't tie the two together, you'll never know what to tell from the data. Right. Now, where do you position the sensors? Uh, what I did is I take the cross-section uh, of, the, of the comb and I put the sensor in the middle of the equivalent of an eight frame uh, deep box. So if the cross section, uh, the cross section for, for the uh, T1 and T2, a golden mean hive, is, is roughly the same as it is for a standard Langstroth deep frame. And so eight of those bars would be eight, would be eight um, deep frames. And so I put the sensor in the middle um, between the fourth and the fifth bar mm -hmm. for the um, for the lower brood box, and I name it lower, and that's towards the front of the hive. The entrance is at the end, and then the second um, the second device would go eight frames further down between um, you know <laughs> four and eight is twelve and thirteen. Okay, that's where it would be. And then for the uh, the, the cathedral hive, it would be three. Total of six of those is about the equivalent of an eight frame Langstroth. So it would be uh, between three and four, and then between uh, nine and 10. So you're doing it basically based on the volume of the bees and trying to sort of get the equivalent uh, to what we're used to. Yeah, I mean, it's just an idea. Uh, right. You've got to start somewhere. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. As long as you know what you're doing, it, it, you can do this a hundred different ways. Right, yeah, so you have a rationale and you're testing it and we'll see how it goes. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Appreciate that this week, uh, Teo, and uh, to everyone out there, remember every hive counts. <laughs>